Hey everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of Kessen 2, and it's going to be brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so I finally completed the battle of Tian Shi. In actuality, you guys saw two parts of that battle, but honestly, I actually did the whole battle all in one recording. It took actually about up to an hour to finish that battle, which was largely due to a part to the supply storehouse being destroyed, which really did not look good for me, but screw it, I got the wind down so that's all that matters so I'm finally done with this battle once and for all so I'll just go ahead and I'll load this data and then I'll continue on here with this let's play oh so we're back with the siege of chain do oh goody oh joy here we go again with another the battle, battle we did in Liu Bei's campaign is triumphant. hoping to end Liu Bei's continued resistance Cao Cao consults with his commanders and begins to plan the invasion of Yi province but why Chang Yu of all places? We've already seen the place before. Um, why not a new area with a Let new map and new scenarios? Everyone lay out your ideas. Your Majesty rules half the continent. World domination is almost in your hands by now. Perhaps now is the time to convince Liu Bei's men of the futility of their cause. The workers have come to me with a plan for a grand new siege weapon they want to develop and build for you. It can send huge objects hurtling through the air. Why not allow Ooh. them to develop it now? You may be stronghold. A place called Chengdu that is very hard to take. For us to take him, we will need time and a great many more soldiers. My lord, tell us your wishes. Okay, so this right here, seeing how I'm doing another siege battle, and seeing how I'm going to have to be dealing with the whole trying to take down the outposts again, I don't think it would be a bad idea to develop new weapons here. I mean, it will probably be bad long-term wise, but short-term wise, I honestly really don't mind here. I've made Give me a huge mind. stress reliever. We will be victorious. Wish. All right, so what's this new weapon here we've been hearing about? Oh, okay, looking nice. Behold the new weapon. See a little glitchy it's there. A catapult. Most excellent for hurling large rocks a long distance. Just the thing for castle walls. I could barely hear you from the background. Okay, so you're going to attach this to home boss. Okay, good. Very well. Guess he's going to be the key in this battle. Cao Cao, leading the Wei army, passes the Shaman Gate and his forces pour into Yi province. To counter Cao Cao's attack, Liu Bei and Liu Zhang concentrate their forces within the walls of Chengdu, preparing the castle for a siege. Oh, so it looks like Cao Liu Bei's now on Yu Bei's side, huh? Assault, hoping to bring a swift conclusion to the war. Traitor's bastard, how dare you betray Cow Cow? You will make what you is suffer. It you come to say? I'd like to talk in private. Don't you worry about that one. Uh huh. Well, I guess it's okay. Uncle, tell me, what is it? Uh, I don't know. Don't how half to say this, But you and Liu Bei, you, you're. Your brothers. Brothers. Dun dun dun. Soon after you were born. Plot twist. And you were separated. Liu Bei was born. Out oh, shocker. Look at Kakao's face. As brothers. No one can make you fight. I can't believe it. Liu Bei, my brother? <laughs> now that's a good one. Please be kind. I don't think he was lying there. Cow Cow. The Imperial Seal. Where is it? Please tell me. Please. I'm begging you. Don't you see? We need it. To stop the fighting with Liu Bei. But why? Why would you bow to me? I think you'll be shocked. What? 
Oh, uh, come on, Himiko. No one likes to snitch. It's really true. Brothers? How can they? I don't have any family either. He shouldn't be fighting, Liu Bei. Himiko, what are you doing? Uh, well, it, it's like... Uh oh I, busted. Uh, I, uh, uh, well, I, I... Just leave now. Come on, you even looked more busted. Shame. So I have no hope for peace in the land. For the longest time, I had no fear of anything. No one would dare to try to conquer me. And do you know why? At least, since the day I lost my mother, then there was nothing. Nothing left to lose. But now... Now I have a brother I never knew I had. How can this be? Your heart is trapped and hidden. Hidden in an armored shell of ice. But deep inside it's beating. When the armor melts away, your true self will be revealed. My true self? I think they're gonna kiss. Or maybe not. Okay then. The war Report on your situation. According to the scouts' reports, they have taken up this position here. Okay then. Well, it looks like the place is pretty much stuck full of Shu soldiers, and there's also Yu Yang. Oh, there's also that one soldier too to the right that's subordinate to Yu Yang too. There's not really any soldiers or guards right over there on the left side, so I might want to use that to my In advantage. This battle, both Liu Bei's forces and Liu Zhang's must be forced to flee the field if we are to win. If we can't force this issue, then we will be in ruin. Let's leave the new catapult in the hands of Jia Hao Ba. State your strategies. This is my humble strategy. We have your servant kill the enemy commander in a duel. After this, they will be demoralized and confused. While they're paralyzed, we attack simultaneously from all sides, guaranteeing victory. Your Majesty, this is what I think we should do to them. We draw off the enemy's attention by hitting the north, east, and south gates of the castle. Seizing the advantage, my men and I will go disguised as enemy soldiers to the weakened gate with the help of Jia Hao Ba. We then trick them into opening the gate, rush into the castle, and then victory will be yours! Now then, your majesty, I suggest we try it this way. First, we send a false report to Zhang Fei saying Zhang Ren plans to defect. Then we send a false report to Zhang Ren saying Zhu Liang is using Liu Zhang as a shield. Zhang Ren and that simpleton Zhang Fei will be easy prey for us and leave their posts. Then, when they're weakened, we will attack from two directions. Majesty, which plan do you prefer here? Well, I really want to take advantage of that weakened side right over there on the left. Honestly, right over here. So I'm kind of looking towards Jun Yoon's plan as well. So let's go ahead and do hers. <laughs> I just realized I've gone with Jun Yoon's plans a lot of times. I guess that's why she's what? I'm assuming second in command to Kalgao's forces or something? Eh, whatever. Let's use this strategy. 
Not even going to question how they're going to be able to get all of the disguise uniforms needed to actually in infiltrate that whole place. Because video game logic, obviously. I mean, if something doesn't make sense in video games, just say video game logic. Attack them! I mean, it's not like anyone actually criticizes a video game because of potholes and such, right? Right? Alright, here we go now. Okay, so I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I got ten generals out here in the battlefield. I think that's the most I have ever had actually in this game, which I'm cool with. Okay, so Zunyun's heading for the target location. That's good. And it looks like there's also one person right there guarding the supply storehouse. You know. I would order that person to go with the others, but considering what happened last episode, or actually two episodes ago, I think it's probably for the best. I'm not going to make that same mistake again, people. Okay, so it looks like Semaiz at his target location. That's good. I'm, looks like there's a few couple of space in between the outposts. I think I can use that to my advantage. Get them to climb over the bridges. Or the wall, actually, not the bridges. Let me check over here with Jun Yu. It's gonna take her and Zahong Ba a while to get to that left side of the castle walls. So, for now, we should at least have a look up here, up to the north. Since it looks like we're about to see semi men try to take out that outpost gate. As for you, Jing Lao, I actually have a special assignment for you. So, we're just gonna get you to go over here. And as for you, Eugen, I just want you to stay in there for a moment. I got something else for you too, but for now, I need Jang Lao to be over here to the left side of that gate. Or the walls, for that matter. Okay, so, let's see, they're attacking the gate. Who exactly is guarding it? Okay, it's Guan Yu. Alright, then. I'm just gonna wait for Jang Lao. Uh, Himiko, I wonder. If we get you to go, actually, you know, let me control her. Get you right over here. See if we can get you to go over the castle walls. If that's possible. Now, what do I actually do the same here with Pang D? You know, as long as a siege battle like this right here has some space where I can go over the walls, I can actually tolerate it. I can be honest with you guys on that. You know? If not, then it just seems annoying when I have to do something like that. Because then, not only am, do I have to wait for, you know, my men to just go through and destroy the outpost gate. I also gotta go ahead and deal with the other fact that there's other units that aren't battling right now. It could be utilized. Not to mention the fact that in outpost battles, some of the people can't use their attacks. Especially magicians, which is a semi-e. Ugh, still gotta wait it out, huh? Okay, fine. Uh, can you go, Jang Ao? Okay, fine, we'll do this. I gotta manually control you now, huh? Okay, let's get you going through this way. Perfect. Just ignore Semi here. He's just doing his job. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Okay, good. Now you should be far enough to where I can actually go over and just control you this way. So let's go ahead and get you to go through this wall. Or not go through it, just go over the damn wall. What a that's stupid. Go through the wall. Come on man. That's impossible. Get you for the planes. Okay, Himiko, we're gonna get you over here to this wall. Okay, can you get through it? Can you jump over it? Is that not possible? Because Looks like you can actually do it. Oh, you can't do it? Oh, so you gotta go for over this part of the wall. Okay, fine. Fine then. You know? I mean, I really was hoping you could do that, but I guess we all can't get what we want now, can we? And it's pretty pointless if I get Pang D to do this over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and just get you over here. Okay. Now, Home Boss Jr. is still taking their time. Was keeping them waiting so keeping them so long. Get 
from right here to the plains. Okay. Uh, Kakao, I'm gonna need you to move out of the way here for Himiko. Because I do not want you going over those walls. Just in case. I just pray that there's any there's no more enemy generals right uh oh right through the walls. Or on the other side of the walls, actually. The reason being is because if they're on the other side of the walls, then the person who's up there on the top of the wall can't really get down. So that's kind of a downside of doing that. But I think it's well worth it when you consider the the other possibility of what you can do and get through this wall. And waiting and such. No one likes to wait unless you really have to. Okay, Jang Isles, let's get you through here. I want to see you guys go up through that wall. Or climb it, at least. Okay, it's going to take up some time. That's good. Pang D, I believe you are able to do it here now. Good. Here we go. Same for you. Hope you don't mind going up a wall. Well, of course you don't mind. You can levitate. That's pretty much easy for you. You're doing it right now. I wonder how high you and Jugeon can levitate. I'm assuming until you get to the atmospheres. Okay, let me climb up there. Still climbing those walls, huh? Okay, then. I'm willing to wait for that. Let's see here. Uh, there's not really much else to do. It's just basically a matter of waiting right now for the moment. Okay, Payne D's just started climbing over the walls. That's good. What's the uh, update on the that outpost right there? With Cal Ren. I have a feeling that uh, they're, the enemy's throwing out rocks and such. Yeah, I can see the numbers dropping. That's not good. Another downside, we're trying to take out an outpost. Okay, good. Looks like the plant's coming into action now. Open the gate! Yeah, you better do what she says. She's a woman. You don't want to get a woman's rage. Trust me, it's not good. Wow, I can't believe that was pretty easy. Now then, everyone charge them! Whoever was the one who had to open that gate must really need to get himself checked. Ooh! Speaking of checked, it looks like that some of the enemy members are losing some morale, which is good. Though it's not much, honestly. And from the looks of things, I can see an enemy over here, which is going to be Zhang Yu. Okay, uh, Jun Yu, I, I'm really hesitant of you facing Zhang Yu in an outpost battle. For the reasons I said earlier, I'd rather Zahon Ba goes up against him. Because at least some of the attacks Zahon Ba can do is at least through an outpost, I think. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, and I see there's another enemy there too, Yan Yan. Or whatever his name is. Yan Yan. That's, that's like a name you would give to a cat, I swear. Okay, please just aim Jane now. Advance! Alright, so we finally got one of Cow Cow soldiers on the other side. That's good. And we might as well go ahead and take out Guan Yu here. So at least that's gonna stop his unit from throwing the rocks. Hopefully Yan Yan doesn't try and come into interference. Oh who am I kidding? There's a good chance that's gonna happen too. Alright, perfect. So let's have a look over here at the outpost for a minute on Simai. So it looks like they're not throwing the rocks anymore, which I'm really grateful for. Simai also lost a bit of morale too. Not good. Okay, and Payde's located Ma Chao. The castle gate's open. Good. Now it's time to double team Guan Yu. Perfect. So we're gonna get you up here. 
And unfortunately, I don't think that Pandy is going to be able to get down. Unfortunately. Uh, no, can't. No, that's not accept. Uh, God dog it. Oh, well, yep. See, this is what I was talking about. The one of the risk of going over, I mean, climbing the walls. Because if there's another enemy right there on the other side, you can't get down. Even if you try to go down onto the side where the enemy's not there. Well, if anything is good from this, at least you guys now see. Okay, Hemiko's unit's going up there. Okay, is that use attack from the blind side? Hold on. Crap, that was actually my fault there. I take responsibility. I should have ordered Zhang Hong Ba to actually move back a bit. I want to get Zhang Yu now into the open so I can double team him. That was my fault there, people. I take responsibility for that. General has to take responsibility for his actions. That's the first thing about being a leader. Jeez, all that stuff going on right down there in that text box. It's a home boss pulling back. Okay, good. It's a home boss pulling back from battle. So the real big question here is if Zhang Yu's taking the bait. Okay, let's get you to turn around, Zhang Yu. You and your forces. That way you don't get blind attacked. On the side. Pretty much going out here after doing the whole plan made the plan seem pointless. Okay, good. Now you's taking the bait. He's going to make a move. Perfect. He doesn't even know what I'm about to do to him next. It's funny, actually. And yet sad. Okay, looks like he's getting his troops in order. Or just finished getting his troops in order. That's good. Okay, good. Himiko's over. Or Himiko's on the wall now. So let's get you to Zen from the walls. And I think it's pretty best if you were to take out Ma Chao. So that way... You can go ahead and get down. Peng D. Okay. Let's see, Semi is still facing Guan Yu, who's already lost half his morale. Good. So I used the going out for the bait. Double good. And uh well Cal Ran is still breaking down the outposts. So I guess triple good uh, overall? No, that's not good. Still taking a while to do so. Okay, Zhao so Yang is initiating a battle cry. Can't do anything about that. Okay, we'll just get you to move over here. You don't need to deal with Zhang Rain for the moment. Okay, my, uh, my child's unit is still attacking with arrows. Yeah, you go ahead and keep attacking with the arrows. But the second I get over to you guys, you guys are screwed. I mean, don't get me wrong, Machao. I think you're a badass character in this game, but, uh... Nah, you're on the other enemy side. I can't have that. Or I can't have you trying to attack me and causing me my defeat. It's not good for me in my let's play. Okay, making a move, good. Wait a minute. No, oh, Kimiko. Kimiko, don't don't do what I think you're gonna son of a bitch. Okay, fine. This is why I was trying to move far away here, because of this crap right here. Wait, how's Cam Ren doing? He's still trying to take out that outpost, huh? Boy, that is boy that can be real tedious when it has to when that happens. Or annoying that much. Yeah, don't even bother. I need you out of this battle right now. The gate's oh, it's about time. Go! Oh, of course. That's probably because of the fact that I actually got Himiko to... Well, because Himiko got in battle with King Ren. Or Zhang Ren, actually. I didn't want that to happen, but I guess it happened. And it happened for the better. Well, hold on a second. Oh, I thought that Zhang Ren was the one who was... Morale's almost done for. Yeah. Kimiko, I need you to retreat, please. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't really mind Cal Ren and his forces actually going into battle in an outpost battle. I really don't. Oh, wait, I see now. It was Guan Yu. Guan Yu's the one that's slow on morale. Okay, that's good to know. Once Guan Yu's going down, I'll be 
Ooh, better yet. Zhao Bong's right here. I should just go ahead and get him to assist Jun Yu. Even though technically she didn't need really much assist. I mean, her morale's all the way up. Let me go ahead and do a few magical attacks before Zhao Bong comes into play. Because I think we all know what would happen the second he does. I mean, come on now. I've said this a few times in the Let's Play. Perfect. Iron Wall was activated. Oh, niceness right there. Okay, I actually took a few stouts out. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again. This time we're going to do a meteor shower. Boy, boy, don't you just love it when you see a lot of enemy soldiers here when you're playing this game and you're using a magic attack? It's like you're in Euphoria or in Cloud Nine. Okay, do some damage here, I like that. Yeah. Okay, here comes that set of meteors right there. Oh, perfect. I am loving this. This is probably the best use of meteor shot I've seen in this game. Right, niceness. He's just about almost down there to the four digits. And last but certainly not least, let's go ahead and get some hail here. So take that, Zhang Yu. Give him a rock. Should guarantee him going up in four digits. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Hey, anyone notice that there were some soldiers in blue over there? Am I the only one that. Yeah, there's these soldiers in blue. Wait a minute. Is that colors of woo? What the hell? Oh, shit. Nah, Mons. Just perfect. Can't they go back to their own territory? Bad enough they're here. Now that we're here to help you, your trouble go over. We won't just let the cow come. Oh goody, it looks like the morale's going back up. Even though technically speaking the morale is already up as it is. No one in the world. Oh goody. Stop us. What's going on there? Well you's now I gone, that's good. Perfect. No! How dare you do that? Okay, now I gotta worry about the Namans. They're gonna be a trouble. Okay, Zahumba, what's taking you so long, man? You should get over there by now. Okay, somebody please cross through that outpost now. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Kimiko, what's, what's taking you so long? You should be retreating. Come on, don't do this to me. You're making me look bad in front of my numerous fans here on YouTube. I wish I had numerous fans, I really do. Can I stop just moving the D-pad and crap and just actually go to a person? Thank you. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to use a few couple of magic attacks. Or better yet, I'll just switch to Hugh I'll just go ahead and I'll use Rush. Or I could just go with Ray, too. I mean, I got numerous choices here. I just love it when I have an officer that can do a lot of attacks. I swear, they're very useful. I'm, I'm serious here. Okay, I got a few. Good. The men's forces are going down. And I am liking them. Okay, good. Sao Boss finally helped out Jun Yun double teaming Sao Yun. Let's get out of here for a minute. My child is still standing there. Jeez, you think he would actually help out his friend or ally at least? But no, he's just gonna go over there and just watch, huh? I really wish they'd just retreat from this battle by now. Okay, Jian Wei is initiating a meteor shower. I can't do anything about that. 
Marco. Back up. Okay, good. Finally. I think we did enough damage to Zhang Ren now. I mean, he's under 8,000. I'm pretty sure that uh, Cal Ren, I believe, who's the one who's going up against him, has outnumbered him. Okay, move back a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Here we go. That's all. Because Machao's kind of in the way right now for Pandy. So Pandy's basically useless. It's basically, he basically practically free. Or like, is he... It's like he already lost his morale and has already fleed. Let me put it like that already, since I seem to be stuttering a lot. Hate it when I'm stuttering during my last place. Spear, it's annoying. Okay, Yan Yan's going up against with Zhang Liao now in semi E. Okay, perfect. All right, so as long as I take out the generals, I'm okay with not going after Yu Bei and Zhu Jiang for now. Once you take out the rest of the officers, then the uh, main ones don't really have to, any backup whatsoever. Get ready to take out Ma Chao. Get yourself over there. No sign of Naman yet. God, the second they come over here, it's going to be real crazy. Or the second they at least go over to the left side of the, that castle, where Zahong Ba and Jun Yu are at. Okay, uh, just get you perfect okay good now make a beeline straight towards my chow you know ways initiating a rally okay then must mean that Yao Yu Zhao Yu is losing a lot of morale huh all right paint my chow no more attacking with those arrows getting tired of that shit <laughs> I got him from his blind side niceness of course, I gotta be careful. We're talking about Ma Chai, Ma Chao here. And it looks like Ma Dai and Will. I'm not that other guy's there, okay? Let's get Hu Ji out of here. In here. Get out of the way. Oh, wait a minute. Let us use Raid right now. There we go. Much better way of getting your way. Or getting these guys out of your way when you're pretty much in a crowd. Though I have a pretty good feeling if you tried this in real life, it's not going to end well for you as we're here. Okay, good. Not much, but it's a start. I want to use Duel, but I heard that if you have more morale than your enemy, then you're more likely to win a duel. So I don't want to use it right now. I'm going to wait it out, actually. Get his morale down a little bit more. And I'll kick it off with lightning. It's been a while that lightning was actually going to be used. Without Iron Wall being played by the enemy as well. Okay, good. That guy was just up in the air, that arrow man to the left. <laughs> like, okay, perfect. Just. Okay, Dion Ways initiating a duel, huh? Hey, Mama's boy, what say we have a Mama's boy, here. you realize you're going up against a woman, right? Yeah, straight up woman. Or are you, you actually trying to insult move. her by saying that because she, look, she looks like a man? I'm confused on that one. All right, Huji, you got this. It's one tough women, people. Me, woman, yeah. well, men, people. Like right now. <laughs> that was not my day. Well, to think I was actually gonna do duel myself in a second. Not much morale lost on Ma Chao's part. Okay then. Alright, so I think I've did enough damage over here in this part. I mean, well, actually he kinda outnumbers me Ma Chao here. 
Just a little bit of charge, and that's going to do it. Yeah, now, okay, not, wait, not yet, not yet. A few more hits to do it. Or maybe not screw it. I'll just go ahead and I'll just use, not Ice Storm, I'll use a Hail. I'll use it on that group over there. With the arrow men that are firing their arrows. Payback for shooting all those arrows. Arrow man, bastards. You know, that did it right there. Perfect. Okay, so, uh, wow, Zhao Yu's still kicking, huh? Oh, God, it's like he hasn't used any morale. That's just perfect. Oh, that's what we told Zhao Ba. Oh, I see why why there were soldiers in blue because of Sun Lee over here. All right, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I don't really want to risk a duel. I think Zhang Ball lost to Sun Lee a few couple of times, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and go against it. Just going to keep whacking down on these guys here. Honestly, because I don't want to use any attacks, really. Because there's not really much soldiers around. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, Semi-E's, uh... Holy shit, he's losing morale. Need you to retreat right now, buddy. What, what the hell? Jing Liao, I thought you were attacking him. Oh, that's just real nice right there. Okay, there's nothing really going on down here in the south, which is where Zhang Fei is supposedly doing, or hiding there. No, not hiding, he's just standing there. Okay, uh, I can't do any attacks. Darn it. Liu Jang, please tell me you have rally. No, you have charge. Just perfect. How many times have I lost semi-e in battles like these before? Like three times already? Not good. Not good. He's supposed to be a powerful magician, you know? You can't get any stronger if he keeps fleeing. So I think he were responsible in taking out Guan Yu, so I think he is going to get some experience. No, you don't. There won't be any young ones beating me. <gasps> I didn't expect it would end don't like worry, this. Semi, you're not dead yet. You're just fleeing. There's a difference. Can I use Ice Storm? I can use a Meteor Shower now. That's not worth it. Save it up. Wait till all my other attacks are recharged. Okay, we're fine. Well, if that's the case, let's get Yu Jin in this battle then. It's for you, Jang Liao. I think it'd be best for you if you were to use some of your attacks. Because Yayan is pretty much outnumbered here. Let's be real here, people. Okay, Yu Jin, you need to join the fight. Good. Now he's being double teamed. Perfect. Okay, well, Yayan is Jang Okay, you know what, everybody? Let's go ahead and end this episode here right now. It's going around 40 minutes, and I think this would be a pretty good time to split it up right now, everybody. So with that being said, thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, be safe. Thanks for watching.